I'm Lee Partridge and welcome back to Coal U TV. Uh, it was just yesterday I was with you, but we've got another, another couple of bits of squad news for you here at Coal U. Wayne Brown, Joe, Joe Dunn and Dave Hussey were announced as a new management team in yesterday's show, as you're aware. And we've already got a couple of young players putting pen to paper on new deals. The first of the two made a massive impression on people in his league debut for the U's for us here at Colchester. Scoring a stunning goal, an absolute cracker on the last day of the season at Hartlepool. So Shea Cooper is the first of the two we'll be talking to today. He was in the studio chatting to David Gregory yesterday afternoon. Before we hear that and what he's got to say, let's take a look at that cracker at Hartlepool. Before we talk about your, your new contract, are you still buzzing from your goal against Hartlepool on the last day? I am. Um, I've watched it a few times since it's happened. Um, I've had a bit of time now to sort of take it all in a bit. I think uh, a few days after it still didn't really seem real. Um, but yeah, I've been I've been having a little bit of a rest and yeah, I've still been a bit buzzing to be fair. In fact, this week as well, we got voted as the club's goal of the season for April, as May, April, May as well. That must be good for you. Yeah, I didn't even think, obviously think I was going to get in the uh, in the goal of the month any time in the season, but to get voted the winner as well for a month was absolutely buzzing. But there was a few good goals to obviously compete with, but luckily I won, yeah. Yeah, and obviously it wasn't just that game, it's your performances over the course of the season, but you must be really happy now that, you know, you're going to be at Colstra even longer having signed a new contract. Yeah, I think obviously the main aim at this season was just to get as many games as I can and... Um, with the 23s um obviously i missed quite a lot of football last year and i feel like my form this year and my consistency has been very very good and i've been i've just been very happy and privileged that the club gave me the chance and this season just to play as many games as i can and i think i've worked hard i'd like to think i've earned my contract for this year and, and i'd like to think i can do the same as i've done this year forget again like i did last year but obviously hopefully more with the first team with the than with the 23s yeah and being a, even around the first team in training and around the match day environment you must feel that helps your development as a young player as well yeah i think the main thing that has been so good this year for me and my development is the players and the staff in the first team as well as the 23s in the academy i think the experience that we've got in the team this year and last year i think it was just so good just to get advice off them and and experiences that they've had that probably I haven't had. And I think I've I've matured as a player on and off the pitch based off what I've learned from other players. And I think that's been massive being in and around that environment as much as I have been. And luckily I have been this year. Yeah, and obviously a lot of managers, head coaches and players, when you talk to them, talk about how good a club, if there's competition for places. But is that frustrating sometimes that there is so much competition for places in your position that you feel you think you deserve a chance and and sometimes over the course of the season you haven't got it quite as much yeah i think in football obviously there's always going to be competition and and that gives you the buzz to and that determination to keep fighting and keep doing well and i think if you look at colchester and the team we've got there is so many good players that can play in my position um and i've got to keep working hard and doing well when i am playing and, and when i do get my chance whether it's once twice three times a year i've got to take it and i think if I keep doing that, then maybe each year I can get more and more games. Yeah, you must be looking forward to pre-season and being you know, in the squad and fighting for that uh, place in the team or the squad on the very first day of the season. Yeah, I think pre-season is going to be quite big this year. Um, last year, I didn't have the pre-season the first team as I was on trial with the 23s. I think the fact that I'll have a t uh, pre-season, hopefully with the first team, if it is with the first team, um, it will give me that sort of edge to try and impress the gaffer even more, impress the manager even more in it. And it kicks starting ready for the season. So hopefully I can go away, keep my fitness up, come back fitter than everyone, come back and do well in training and hopefully impress the gaffer and everyone else around yeah. me. Is it is it too early for you to have set yourself targets for, for games and goals and, and things you want to do uh, in, in next season? 
I think my my main aim this year was just to score as many goals and assists as I could um, with the 23s. Um, and obviously next year, being a year older and and obviously I played a couple games this year with the first team, I think my main aim is to do what I've done in the 23s with the first team, to score as many goals and assists as I can. Um, I'd like to try to play over 10, 20 games with the first team, as many games I can and contribute. And and hopefully I think the team this year with the team we've got, with the gaffer and the staff around the team, I think I think it's going to be a good year for us. Excellent. Thanks for coming in. No worries, and, uh, have a good summer. You too. There's Shay there, and good luck to Shay for the upcoming season. Another youngster looking to do exactly the same thing and break into the first team squad this coming season is centre half Harry Beadle. Harry got an early taster of first team football with a start in the Papa John's Trophy last September, but he's had to be patient since then. But his performances in the under 23s have been rewarded with a new contract here at the U's. He was also in the studio yesterday having a chat with David. signed a new contract to stay at Coast United. You must be really pleased this early in the summer that it's all sorted out. Yeah, buzzing to finally get it done. Just like really excited now for the next season. Like really trying to push on. Got a good start to the season. Been involved quite a bit. But now I just really want to push on and fight for a place in the team. Yeah, and that beginning of the season, nine, ten months ago, mm. you must have been really pleased to, to be involved and, and with the first team. Oh yeah, like... Buzzing, to be honest. I've never really experienced first team football, so it really helped me just being around the boys before a game day, and then sitting on the bench, like even just the acknowledgement from the fans that was really like massive. I feel like I've seen it now, and I was gonna go and get and play in front of them and all that. Yeah, and what are the biggest differences between academy football that you're used to, and then going into the first team environment, both in training and in games? I think the main thing is like we're there to win the three points. So it don't really matter about your first. It obviously matters about your personal performance, but at the end of the day, the boys want to get three points because that's that's what you're paid to do at the end of the day. So that's what that's what you have to adapt to. Obviously, the physicality of the men's, but the likes of Chambo, Easty, Smudge, they always speak to me and help me get through that. And obviously, those three players you mentioned, they were in your way after that, yeah. weren't they, during the season? So how hard was it to be involved all the time? To then kind of come away from it a bit and just have to concentrate on the 23 stuff but knowing you've got to play well yeah of course you've got to kind of i saw the i kind of experienced a little bit of it and then i got to drop down and prove like show my trade in the 23s dominate it and then that will give me opportunity to go up and prove myself in the first team environment yeah and you and you proved yourself in the under 23s environment mm. for the rest of the season hence your new contract mm. you must be really looking forward now to the, to the end of june yeah. even though you don't want to wish the summer away yeah no of course it's a short summer but at the end of the day i'm buzzing to get back uh it's been around the boys as well it's great um but yeah looking forward to the next season yeah and in this day and age there's no such thing as a real summer break, is there? Mm. I presume you've uh, got your programme to, to work on uh, while you're not actually in the club. Yeah, I think it's a week, a week and a half off and then back to running. So obviously you've got to kind of keep yourself fit to make sure you can attack pre-season and really show the gaffer and all the coaching staff what you can do. Yeah, and I presume what your aims are are going to be mm. exactly that, isn't it? Uh, yeah, going into the new season? I understand, definitely just try and get as much experience with the first team as possible. Uh, obviously, so I might have to go on loan if it's not an option. If I can't get in the first team. But obviously, my main aim going into the season is to get get around that first team and really like trying to get the gaffer to trust me in situations where if we are losing, for example, and uh, they need a centre-half on to help secure the points, and that's what I really want to bring to the team next season. Yeah, well, good luck in that and congratulations on your new deal. Thank you, appreciate it.
two youngsters there snapped up early on. You can be sure that there will be more in the next month or two ahead of the 22-23 season. We're aiming to bring you them all on Colu TV over the summer. So keep your eyes out on the website and the socials for news of any upcoming shows. And don't forget to get in touch with us with your views of the signings maybe and the new management team. Uh, let us know anything Colu related, media at colchesterunited.net. That's about it for today, Then Good luck to Shay and Harry. Let's hope they have a, uh, a fantastic season for us. And I'll be back very, very soon. Until then, it's goodbye for now.